check the peephole. There's somebody home. I saw that. We're looking for hope. We're her parents. We know she's staying here. We just want to talk to you. We want to see you. We need to know you're all right. We love you. We just... We just need to talk to you. Please, honey. Open the door. This is killing me. This is killing us. Do you understand? Daniels, a real ghetto queen bandit. She's pretty. Yeah. Don't let her looks fool you, though. Who's the boy? Her kid brother, Jerome Daniels. They call him G Man. A real badass little son of a bitch. He's only nine, he's already got a case. What about their parents? Mother's a heroin addict. Father's doing triple life sentences for murder. She's going. Let's go. Hello. Hello, Lori. Daddy. Lori. You're breaking up. I can't. You're breaking up. <laughs> hey, Lori, I can't hear you at all. Well, no, well, what? Well, what? What the hell's going on? Listen, I'll just call you later. No, later. Next, please. Than a week, and I've been at church all day making preparations. I wanted to talk to you about that, dear. I spoke with my mother, and, and I think it's a, a good idea that we go visit them tomorrow. You did what? You know you're not supposed to talk to them without my approval, Larry. They are not true Christians. I, I know, I, I know, but I thought that they're my family and we could make an exception. There are no exceptions when it comes to the Lord. Larry, this doesn't even seem like something you do on your own. Did your mother put you up to this? No, no, I want to go. I think I will feel bad if we get married and they don't even have a chance to get to know you. And, oh, my dad had a stroke, and it would probably do him good to see me. You're even dumber than you look, Larry. What did I do? 
First of all, you call your Protestant mother behind my back, which I specifically forbade you to do. Then you somehow magically agree to drive all the way out to Glen Ellen while we're trying to plan a wedding. And this is all going on during Easter weekend, of all things. I mean, Larry, do you even listen when you speak, or do you just let your feeble mind have its stupid conversations with itself? I guess. Second one. I just wanted my parents to know about our wedding before they died. Well, don't think. Whenever you use your brain, you somehow manage to screw things up. The smartest thing you ever did was agree to marry me. The smartest thing I've ever done? What about dedicating my life to Jehovah? What about... What about what, Larry? Your life is a blank. I give you power. I can take it away. You're nothing but a child. God damn it, Marie. I went through this with my mother, and I'm not going to go through it with you. I, you don't listen to me. You don't care who I am. I give, I give, I give, and it's never enough. I have feelings deep inside, but I've kept them down so long, I don't even know how to get them out. I have strength inside of me, too. Maybe I just don't know how to show it to you. Maybe that's it. I just don't... I just don't know. Gersing. Yes. Okay. Come with me, young man. Come on. Your mother should be here. I reached her about an hour ago. So. Well, yes. Have a seat, please. What happened? Ms. Gerstein, this is Larry Watson and his mother, Mrs. Watson. Oh. This is Officer Smizer. Oh. I just want to know why my son was nearly killed by a man who was supposed to be upholding the law, not abusing it. Ma'am, that is exactly why we're here, to get to the bottom of this. Well, somebody better get to the bottom of it, or I will. Yeah, well, <laughs> Larry, why don't you tell us what happened? Me and Giles got into a fight. Giles, that's Officer Lovell's son. Yes. No, you're picking on Giles. I was not. Okay, now you'll have your turn in a minute. Don't interrupt, please. Go ahead. Next thing I know, Mr. Lavelle, Officer Lavelle was on me, choking me. Why didn't you tell your mother about this sooner? Were you afraid? Yes. Is this true? It's okay. It's Is all it right. True, son? Yes. Somebody better find this man. I promise you, I will find him. Now, we'll handle this, Mrs. Watson. We'll handle this. I know you will. 
You are a very brave young man. And thank you for allowing us to speak with him. We want to know what's going on. We're going to take our children out of here if somebody doesn't tell us how an officer is able to do such a thing to a child. And I'm right along with her. This entire school is going to be empty unless that man is caught. Mm -hmm.